Karma has been a really special place for me. I left a um, job I'd been working in the health service as a nurse for a long time and I saw the job advertised and I thought that's my job, I want that job. And a lot of people thought I was really mad um, because I was leaving a secure job in the National Health Service for a less secure job here and also because of lots of feelings and thoughts about coming to Falmer and what that would be like. But from the moment I came here I felt it was a special place. I just really liked it and I felt like I belonged. It wasn't really a chance thing and it wasn't something I sought out either. I used to bring a student over from another school because I worked at a special school for a long time before and he was doing his GCSEs and it was just all enveloping. I thought I, I could work here. I have the skills that I can offer here and that opportunity came up and I grabbed it. I come from an alternative background so I'm a Steiner school originally um, and I I was working at Uckfield, which is a lovely school, um, and I was working with the special needs students there especially, and I really, really enjoyed it. And they said to me, you know, the thing is, we'd love to have someone like you here, but you're going to get bored, you need more of a variety, and that's what we have at Falmer. We've got some superb, perfectly behaved at all time students, and we've also got some who find it harder, but always striving. And what attracted me to here in particular was I knew a young lady who was working here and who said that it was her dream school and she was gutted she'd missed an opportunity to get the job here and so I actually filled the job she was leaving from. Um, and I think she was right because I think you don't find as much laughter and as much camaraderie amongst staff and students as you do here. I'd applied for a number of headships before I, I went to, I got the job at Falmer and they were just when I saw the, what the governors were looking for, because what they wanted, they wanted a, a new head teacher that was going to help to continue the work of Mr. Edkins and raising standards, but they also wanted a head teacher that was going to really engage the community in the school and the school in the community. So obviously when I saw the advert, I, I was very much attracted to the, what they were looking for, um, but I was aware of the challenges and I was also aware of the reputation of the school. And I think what sold it to me was when I arrived for interview, just walking around, the students meeting me, um, the prefect that showed me around and you know was talking to me about the school and its strengths and weaknesses. I just got a, a real sense I wanted to work with these young people. I wanted to make a difference to their lives. I mean, plus the fact I, I was interviewed on a very sunny day, and in the sunshine, you know, with those playing fields and the downs in the background, it's a lovely environment. Um, and I just had a sense as soon as I arrived, this is the one. You know, this is this is if I if, if I get this job, this is the one that I want, the school I want to work in, and you don't always feel that. You get a sense as soon as you work, work into a, walk into a school, if it's the right one or not. Um, and I just felt really positive about Falmer from the moment I arrived. When I came, I had my first interview at Long Hill School, and I got offered the job. I'd been there as an NQT, and I said it was just for a year, and I said, well, I really want a permanent job. I'm going for an interview tomorrow at Farmer School and um, they said, oh, you won't really want to go there. And I said, well, I want to go and find out for myself. Came in and went to my interview and it was really funny because I was sitting upstairs in what is the North Staff Room now. It was a common room, I think, then. And uh, Richard Bradford came up and he said, oh, would you like to come down? And John Williams was the head then. And, uh, and he said, right, he said, well, we are going to employ, we're if you did the job, would you like to take it? Now, I've really had been down in the school all day and I'd really enjoyed my day. It was really buzzing and I could see things were going to happen. You know, you just get a sense of a place. And the children have been, yeah, I could see there were some difficulties, but been very welcoming and held doors open. And, and I just thought, oh, yes. And I was very inspired by the humanities department. You know, I really felt this was a place I could learn a lot as an NQT. Uh, and the teachers that they had there at the time, the team. And I thought, yeah, actually, this is the, this is the job for me. So I cancelled the interview the next day. I rung Long Hill back and said, I'm very sorry, I've got a permanent job at Falmer and I'm going to take it because that looks the place for me. I was mainly post-16. I've always been sort of... Um, 
key stage four, key stage five, which is uh, your six, 14 to 19 year olds have always been my sort of um, area. I hadn't really looked at um, 11 to 16 schools. I'd never really been part of that scenario. And I remember thinking, well, I go to Tower Hamlet, Hamlets. This is the last great move um, before I leave because I've loved it all the way through the 35 years I've been in education. I've absolutely loved it and I wanted to leave loving it. I remember seeing the advert and they said that the guy running the school, Anthony Edkins, had turned it around. And, uh, and I thought, no, I won't do that. I'll just carry on looking for post-16 posts. And then the advert occurred again. But prior to that, I'd been to some meeting that I'd been called into because I was working for West Sussex Advisory Service. So I turned up at this meeting and I heard um, Norma Smith actually talking about the school. I thought, do you know, I'd really like to work in a school where so people really care. Because sometimes with uh, you know the changes that have occurred in education, with all the paperwork and all the exams and the league tables and the targets, you forget there are people and people who should care. And I came in, I think like most people that go into public services, as a vocation. I didn't come in to be target driven. So um, it was important to... So my last stand was, um, I will find this school, come to this school. And I remember my first year, I thought, my God, what have I done? You know, um, because it's different. The kids I was working with had wanted to stay on in education. And suddenly I was back in compulsory. I'd done the reverse. Most people move out of compulsory to non-compulsory because it's a different feel, isn't it, if you've chosen to go somewhere. Whereas if you're forced to come somewhere, it's slightly different, isn't it? Um, no, and, uh, and have stayed, and stayed, and stayed. I, I suppose the proof is in the pudding. You know, I, I taught here for, as I say, 34 years, I guess, so it can't have been that bad. It's 34 years is a lifetime, isn't it, really? A working lifetime for many people. So often, I've been struck by how brave and determined the children now are. And they're role models to themselves, but also to us. They make you want to get up in the morning, they make you want to try again and keep going and strive for better. I just think it's been quite an honour to work at Falmer. It's a sad day that Falmer has actually closed down. Um, my intention was to go to Falmer for five years. In the end, I stayed there. 14 years. <laughs> All I can say is, for me personally, thank you. Because I, I, I was a teacher for 42 years, and I can honestly say there was very few times when I didn't thoroughly enjoy my job. And that was very largely down to the young people I worked with and the adults that I worked with. I'm walking away knowing that I've got some very fond memories of a brilliant place with brilliant people. They value each other, they stand by each other, they're loyal to each other, they care for each other. These are values that we have forgotten in our wider society and I actually think we have a lot to learn from a community that does that. So well done, well done Morscombe, well done Farmer. I'm really proud of you, you've been brilliant.